this video is all about the free stitches for applique. Hi there and welcome to my channel. I produce videos every single Wednesday on how to use your sewing machine and simple sewing tips and tricks. This is part of three of my series. Stitch number one is going to be a regular straight stitch. So I am just going to go around the outside of my applique house just doing a regular straight stitch and I have loaded my sewing machine up with embroidery thread. Embroidery thread is just a nice thread to use because it's just slightly shiny and it just looks a lot nicer than just a regular polyester thread. So when you're appliquing, you always want to stop with the needle in the down position just so you can pivot your work much easier. Then I'm just going to continue on down the side of the house. Stop a little bit and then pivot and then continue on. So this is just using a regular stitch straight stitch for your applique work. It is perfectly fine to use that. I'm also going to go ahead and use a straight stitch on my chimney. I'm putting the chimney down first and I'm going to put the roof over the top of my chimney. I'm just going to go ahead and just finish this. If you've gone slightly over like I have you can just lift your needle back up and just re-align it back over to where it should be and just continue on. So that is my first example for you for an applique stitch, it's just a regular straight stitch. Stitch number two is going to be a blanket stitch. So this right here is called a blanket stitch and you're going to want to practice this because um, you want to make sure that the straight part of the stitch is going in line with the window and then it goes over and catches the other side of the fabric and I'll show you once this is done so you get an understanding of what I'm talking about. Now when you come to the end here, you do want to stop with your needle down and pivot and then you should be lined up to continue on with your stitches. So as you can see on my example, it does this straight line down, so it does like three stitches and then it goes over and jumps onto the fabric and then jumps back and then goes down. So you just want to make sure that all your straight lines are running parallel to what is this window and then it's, can it's catching onto this side of the fabric. It does take a little bit of practice but once you get the hang of it, it's great. Just make sure that you go slow and it's just all about practice. Practice, practice makes perfect. So the third stitch that I want to show you is the satin stitch. So my machine comes automatically with the satin stitch already pre-programmed. It's literally just a zigzag stitch. And on my machine if you want to make your zigzags narrower you just press this button if you want to make it thicker press this button. If you want to make your threads less dense, press this button and if you want to make it more of a thicker thread, press this button to increase it. So I'm just going to start doing this window. So you want to go quite slow again, like if you're just starting out. I have the tendency to go full throttle all the time. So when I come to the end of my corner, I'm actually going to lift my needle up and I'm just going to plant it down in the middle 
I've just moved it back back a little bit to this corner. So when I start doing my um, satin stitch one more time, it's going to cover that corner. Now I'll show you what this looks like afterwards. So I'm coming to my corner once again and I'm just going to turn my fabric around I'm going to drop and I'm going to continue Now look at this corner here It's going to take a little bit of practice um, but once you get the hang of it, it looks pretty good. I think the main bit of advice that I can give you about appliquing and stitches is just to take it really slow and once again, just practice and you get better and better every time you do it. Now let's just say that you didn't go around a corner too well. This stitch is very forgiving, so basically just line it back up and just go over it and here you go you would honestly not know any difference that we missed this bit out we just went over it and coloured it in and just a little bonus tip for you some machines come with a multitude of decorative stitches and this is where them stitches come into play just use them and see what they look like on your design here is one of my windows done with one of my decorative stitches this is what my finished applique project looks like using the three different stitches satin stitch blanket stitch and a regular straight stitch and also not forgetting some of your decorative stitches. I hope you've enjoyed watching my three stitches for applique. The final video in my series is going to be the top seven items for applique. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss seeing me next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.